Hello, friends! We finally reached the final slide of the presentation and let's animate it. We begin with the opening animation. Draw the new rectangle to the size of the slide. Change the color to white and remove the border. As for the animation, let's apply Exit Animation Zoom. Make it start with Previous, Duration 0 0.25 and Delay 0. Great, let's hide this layer for now. Next, we will animate the background image. I want it slowly grow. Select the image in the selection pane and apply Grow Shrink Animation. Make it start with Previous and change duration to 5. Delay 0, so it started with the opening. Also, right-click to open Effect Options and change the size to 110%. Next, I want to animate ovals around our Call to Action button. Select the shape and ungroup it. Ctrl Shift G. Now select both ovals and apply Pulse Animation. Make them start with Previous, Duration 0 0.5, Delay 0 0.25. By default, the Pulse Animation repeats only once and I want to increase this number to 9. Select both animations, right-click to open Effect Options and go to Timing and change Repeat to 9. That's good. Finally, we need to do the closing animation. For this animation, we need to add more shapes. Draw a new rectangle in half the size of the slide, so it covers the left part of the slide. Use the center guide for navigation. Change the color to pink and remove the outline. Now, let's duplicate the shape and cover the right side of the slide. Select both shapes and apply Fly-in animation. Make them start with Previous, Duration 0 0.25 and Delay 4.5. Also, we need to change direction. The left rectangle should fly in from left and the right one from right. We can achieve similar animation with one shape and split animation, but I like this one better. Also, let's add two more shapes. The first shape should cover the upper part of the slide. Change its color to gray and remove outline. Duplicate it and cover the bottom part. Select both of them and apply Fly-in animation. Start with Previous, Duration 0 0.25, Delay 4.75. Now let's adjust the direction. Select the upper shape and change it from top. The bottom animation already has the correct direction by default. Ok, we finished animation and can preview the result. I like it. Now check the mark, the after zero, in the transition tab. Also, double check the rest slides to see if you have checked the after zero on all slides. If you don't have it, the animation will be stopped on the slide without auto transition and will not go to the next slide. Now you can preview the entire presentation. Click F5 or go to Slideshow from beginning. Great, we finished this section and I see you in the next one where we will record the video. See you later!